Or, uh, we know deep about the Trivani. Um, maybe you can uh, give your explains about the last uh, report from BMKG says that ENSO condition have potential to move toward Lanina in Indonesia in the middle uh, until the end of this year. So we just see impact to increasing rainfalls in Indonesia. So uh, it automatically can give a a fact the performance mining service issue, including uh, coal mining services. How uh, do companies deal with this possible uh, weather change and what is the strategy? Well, I mean, just to give you a little brief on uh, Triveni, mm -hmm. we've been uh, in mining for more than 25 years mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. and we are the largest mining company in India. Okay. And perhaps on the mining services side, uh, definitely the largest mining services company mm -hmm. in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And we deal with different weather, different climatic mm -hmm. zones mm -hmm. when we undertake mining projects. When in Indonesia in particular, mm -hmm. um, you do have uh, very high rainfalls, mm -hmm. generally mm -hmm. speaking. Especially Sumatra and Yes, uh, and we have seen also. years mm -hmm. where the rainfalls were extraordinarily mm -hmm. high. And uh, sometimes it was moderate or what you could call normal for Indonesia, but still high when you compare it, say, with India or some okay. other countries. So most mining companies are quite well prepared mm -hmm. to dewater, to be able to make sure that the mining environment is uh, conducive for uninterrupted operations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you do get extraordinary situations where you get heavy rainfalls and sometimes you have some geotechnical issues that you do mm -hmm. not expect. Mm -hmm. But you are prepared for it and that's where the experience of a mining company comes in. Mm -hmm. To be able to anticipate and to be prepared. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that you're not uh, caught up in a situation where uh, you're overwhelmed uh, uh, with, uh, with these changes, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, your, your project is interrupted, which means uh, the production is interrupted, uh, the, uh, the client suffers, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the production, uh, the people who you have to sell the commodity, they are waiting mm -hmm. for it, and it, it uh, affects the whole cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, how far the Lanina can drop uh, down the productions of uh, coal so far? Well, it does affect overall production, but mm -hmm. you try to make it up when the weather is better. Okay. So uh, it is not a continuous mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. impact, but whenever mm -hmm. you have uh, unusual weather conditions, in particular mm -hmm. rainfall, because mining is a, a pit and the water accumulates, mm -hmm. and if you have more water than what your dewatering capacities are, then your mm -hmm. mining certainly suffers. But uh, hopefully it wouldn't stay as long to affect the overall year targets mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we, we look at weekly, we look at monthly, we look at quarterly, mm -hmm. half yearly mm -hmm. and annually. Mm -hmm. Certain quarters may be affected, mm -hmm. uh, certain months may be affected, but overall we try to achieve at least 90 uh, to 95 percent of production target in a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so you can uh, continue to uh, tell about uh, Trivedi uh, mm -hmm. to us, uh, what is your concerns in uh, India and what is your concerns in Indonesia, especially what is your focus uh, besides uh, coal, mm -hmm. you have another uh, commodity focus here. Sure, sure. Well, Triveni is, uh, like I said, uh, the largest uh, mining company in India. Mm -hmm. Uh, company we are, 25 uh, uh, in India and just focused to, in coal? Or no, no, many, no. Many we are a multi-mineral company. Many so so right. we do, uh, our, our majority of our production is in iron ore. Mm -hmm. Actually, we produce mm -hmm. about five, okay. 55 million tons of mm -hmm. iron ore. Mm -hmm. And we're also further downstream in iron ore where we produce uh, pellets, mm -hmm. iron ore pellets. And now we are also graduating into being a steel producing company. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also uh, manage a lot of logistics in terms of moving of the ore, in terms of slurry pipelines and all of mm -hmm. that. And, mm -hmm. and now we are undertaking uh, uh, perhaps the largest pellet uh, uh, production uh, plant in the world, mm -hmm. the largest uh, beneficiation plant of iron ore uh, in the world, okay. uh, hematite mm -hmm. iron ore. And now, uh, uh, and also we are developing uh, perhaps the largest integrated mine to steel complex uh, in upstream the world. Upstream and downstream? Uh, both, yeah. About, uh, up yes. and downstream all the way to the finished product. Mm -hmm. And we also uh, do coal mining in India. Uh, we produce uh, close to uh, 16 to 20 million tons of coal mm. uh, for, the, for the government. Mm -hmm. We operate the largest barites mine in the world mm -hmm. uh, in India. And uh, we are also the only private gold producing company 
other than the government. The mm -hmm. first mine, gold mine, was in 1945 under the British. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. that, uh, I can proudly say Triveni is the first company that's actually uh, getting into production in gold uh, this November. In gold. Okay, in this gold. November. In gold. Oh, yeah. this is a new commodity. Yeah, a new, new commodity produced. that oh, we've okay. gotten into. And, and okay. we want to replicate that same success that we've had in Indo India in Indonesia. Oh, I see. So right now we do coal. Uh, we have a mining operation in okay. Sumatra, but okay. our largest mining operation is in South Kalimantan. Okay. Uh, where we, we produce uh, close to 3, 3.5 million tons of coal. Mm -hmm. Operate almost uh, 45 to 50 million cubic meters of uh, uh, overburden. Overburden. Yes, okay. and what what uh, that is our current footprint. But what distinguishes us from most of the other mining companies mm -hmm. is that we believe in a what we call a, a three R philosophy, which is, okay, uh, is rebuild, okay. reuse, and recycle. Oh, so okay. all of our equipments, while we also buy new equipments, we predominantly try and rebuild older equipments, bring them to a newer equipment capacity, and we have this entire facility, the engineering capability, the technological experience to be mm -hmm. able to do that mm -hmm. in-house. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so, so in countries like Indonesia where capital is very, very mm -hmm. difficult to come by, mm -hmm. when you're able to use older fleets and make them new and deploy them, your cost of operations, your capital cost will be low. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why we can comfortably say we are one of the lowest cost mining operators in the world. Mm -hmm. And in India, we have the largest uh, of its kind in Asia uh, a facility to rebuild, reuse, recycle oh, wow. all the yeah, major yeah, yeah. Uh, equipments from Caterpillar, Komatsu's, Liebers, yeah, wow. uh, Litorno, uh, you name it, Terex. And we are building the same facility in Indonesia in Balikpapan. 